If you're a DJ, then you probably have a big library of music and probably you don't play all the music that you have. And if you use Rekordbox, uh, you probably have noticed that it's not so easy to delete the tracks, both from Rekordbox and your hard disk. And I've experimented with it and I found a pretty good way to delete the tracks that you want uh, effectively and simple. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is the library folder of Rekordbox and then you'll select a track that you want to delete. And normally you show them in Finder and you delete it from there. But if you have to do it for every track, that takes a lot of time. So I'll create a playlist called Delete. And then I slide the track into that playlist. And I do that with all the tracks that I want to delete from a hard disk and record box. I don't really want to delete all these songs, but it's for an example, as you can understand. So I slide them all into the playlist. And here I have a selection of the tracks that I want to delete from both my hard disk and record box. Then I select them all because I want to edit them and then I click on the info button and just add a random note to it. Then we wait till the additions have been processed. And now if we go to Finder, you'll see that all the edited tracks are on top if you sort them on editing date. And then you can select them all and just delete them and they're gone from your hard disk. What you have to do though is uh, also in Rekordbox you have to select them all and then delete from your library. As you can see right here. And then they're all gone both from your Rekordbox library and your hard disk and you get some free space. <laughs> 